Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is Somaliland National Television English and I'm Mohammed Salim. Here are the stories making the headlines. President issues a press release appointing police commissioner. This press conference has Minister of Information and National Guidance. The state auditor officer receives special donation from UNDP. After the death of former police commissioner Mohamed Sagadi Dibad, President Ahmed Silani issued a press release detailing the process undertook to appoint a new police commissioner. Following the death of the previous police commissioner Mohamed Sagadi Dibad, may Allah show him mercy. The following press release is from the President's press office. The President of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud, through presidential decree using the Somaliland Constitution, nominated a new police commissioner. The President of Somaliland only made such a decision after he acknowledged the need for the appointment of a new police commissioner for the Republic of Somaliland. Concerning the skills, knowledge, and the abilities for the spot, he chose to name the new police commissioner as Zilahi Fadal Iman. Minister of Defense Ahmed Haji Ali Adami spoke of the current situation in Somaliland region, where militia mean uncertainties attempt to cause havoc and chaos. Minister Adami elaborated on the successful efforts by the Somaliland armed forces in that region to safeguard security and promote peace. The Minister of Defense held a press conference to publicly clarify news of skirmishes in the eastern region of Somaliland. In the past 24 hours, multiple reports have surfaced Somaliland armed forces engaged with a group of insurgents attempting to promote chaos. Minister of Defense Adami stated, <laughs> يا نتيجة دي كسب هذي ساكو سبحي وبرجها وحا بلا مي دجال بلادن. The reason we waited until this very moment to publicly clarify news of armed engagements in Las Anod and Bohodle is due to the fact that we are working on compiling facts. Our Somaliland armed forces resisted attacks and retaliated with effective and expected military force, which resulted in a successful feat. There were multiple skirmishes that initially began when insurgents attempting to provoke chaos through armed attacks. However, Somaliland troops who are responsible for protecting citizens and the nation fulfilled their obligation. We captured nine vehicles, of which four are technical tanks. We also have 47 prisoners of war, of which two are ministers in the armed militia organization, and three top generals who are accredited for leading the attack on Somaliland forces. The Somaliland government is trained and capable of defending its citizens and its borders. I'm not saying that we have planes taking satellite images, but I will state that we are aware of threats and maintain our strong stance towards preparation, prevention and defense. And our brothers and sisters in the region that are Somaliland citizens. Therefore, it is not a war, but rather a skirmish of a few lone militants attempting to provoke a war. Once again, our brothers and sisters in that region long for peace and are working wholeheartedly with Somaliland authorities to bring the insurgent organization to justice. The Ministry of Defense also emphasized the need for every Somaliland citizen to undertake the responsibility of safeguarding national security and promoting peace throughout the nation. The Minister of Commerce, Abdul Sakhlif, moderated a handing over ceremony between the Interim Director General of Minister of Commerce, Adan Elmi, and newly appointed Director General, Abib Ahmed Ali. Multiple high ranking government officials, as well as members of civil society, took part in that event. In recent weeks, political reshuffling changed the political landscape of Somaliland's government, with multiple ministers sacked in what the Somaliland government describes as changes needed to bring about more productivity. The Ministry of Commerce and Industries is a product of this new political formula. A ceremony marking the handing over of assumed responsibilities took place at the Ministry of Commerce and Industries. Minister of Commerce and Industries Abdirsa Khalif moderated the handing over ceremony between former Interim Director General Adhan Ilmi and newly elected Director General Abib Ahmed Ali. Minister Khalif spoke at the event, stressing the need for ministerial employees to extend full assistance and cooperation towards Director General Abib Ali. He also stated, وحرب كوبا لنقاضيها إن شاء الله تعالى يتيجوا ويتشوقنوا 
إن الجعم بدل يجي هيري دونتو وحي حوله عاد قاعد يا ذا كوبا جعم بنا ينظر هذا سك عم بدل بنا وفري عادو خمسين دونتو There must be cooperation between ministerial employees. It is essential for everyone here to provide overwhelming support and assistance for newly elected Director General Ali. I believe he will carry on the wonderful work of his predecessor, and I'm ready to work hand in hand with Director General Ali to produce the most productive output. Minister Khalif is commended for working with private sector industries in order to promote more development in Somaliland. Former Interim Director General Adhan Ilmi communicated gratefulness towards Somaliland's government for providing him with a wonderful opportunity, and he urged everyone to welcome and work with newly elected Director General Abib Ali. Director General Abib Ali also spoke at the event. He stated, <laughs> I'd like to express my gratitude and appreciation towards the minister and all ministerial employees who welcomed me with open arms. And I'd also like to convey prayers for the former Director General Abdullahi Kubide who passed away. May Allah provide him with ample sustenance in the hereafter. The Ministry of Commerce concluded its handing over ceremony with other distinguished guests and government officials brief speeches. State Auditor Mahmoud Al Abdi received UNDP official Stephen Kinlock at the State Auditor's Office. The UNDP donated vehicle to the State Auditor's Office as a symbol of cooperation between both institutions. General Auditor for the State of Somaliland Mahmoud O Abdi, also known as Mahmoud Dera, received UNDP representatives at the State Auditor's Office. This meeting was one of many highlighting ongoing cooperation between international organizations and governmental institutions. Capacity building has been the main objective for UNDP and other United Nations agencies in Somaliland. The UNDP pledged to work with the State Auditor's Office and this meeting focused on a UNDP vehicle donation to this governmental institution. In addition to a vehicle donation, the UNDP pledged to build two office locations for the state auditor and state accountant. UNDP representative Stephen Kinloch spoke at the event. Uh, well, well, it's a real pleasure for me today on behalf of UNDP to, to hand over a, a vehicle uh, which will support the Auditor General, uh, which is part of the institution building uh, work that UNDP does uh, and it's also one aspect of the cooperation that is taking place uh, including uh, the building of capacity uh, of the institution. Mahmoud Dera, Somaliland State Auditor, also spoke at the event. He elaborated on the continued relationship between international organizations and Somaliland governmental institutions. <laughs> Uh, I have to emphasize that the CAP is really a summable for the cooperation between uh, the leaders, your institution, and we are very thankful to you and to all those who take part in to bring this vehicle available. Mahmoud Dera has been credited for taking a stern stance towards corruption. In a short time in office, State Auditor O Abdi brought multiple government officials to justice and promises to follow and pursue any lead in political corruption. The Somaliland Democratic Process has over 10 political organizations attempting to become political parties. With local government elections coming close, Chairman of Dalson Political Organization held a press conference to announce his organization's intent to host a political summit on April 11th. Somaliland local government elections are coming to a near as multiple political organizations strive to become the next contender in a democratic political arena. The Somaliland Political Registration Committee, responsible for implementing electoral laws and regulations, implemented statewide assessments of all political organizations. Chairman of Dalsan Political Organization, Ismail Adhan Usman, conveyed appreciation towards the Somaliland Political Registration Committee's cooperation and ongoing effort in implementing protocols necessary for the coming elections. He also added that Dulcet Political Organization succeeded in all accounts and intends on holding their first political summit on April 11th. Chairman Osman also thanked the overwhelming support from local and diaspora Somaliland citizens. 
The political summit taking place on April 11th will provide a forum for people to contribute through voting in the inner dynamics of Delson political organization. And that's the end of our news. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.